So we have the next speaker, CA Vishnu Acharya ji, who's going to present to us AI agent at work, optimizing CA office operations through automation. Sir, the floor is yours. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. So today's my use case is all about optimizing CA office operations through AI agents. So. This whole idea of AI agent started with one of the faculties who came for our AICA certification course, who just told a catchy sentence, AI cannot be a master, but it can be an intelligent employee for you. Now this thought provoked me to create something like an AI agent at work. Now why do we need an AI agent? The CA office operational work, uh, at least 40% of our productive work goes to these actions. One is preliminary information collection based on our preliminary interaction with our client. We collect some preliminary information regarding their service requirement, they, regarding their basic details, all this information collection. Either it may be done by as an auditor you or a chartered accountant you or maybe a staff who is designated to do these things in your firm. Then processing the client information and summarizing it. Then either you have to summarize it for your staff to take actions on that action points, or your staff has to summarize it to you to take action on them. Then the third step is document generation for review based on client requirement. So there are a lot of documentation involved in our day-to-day -day operations in the CA firm. So for generating documents and review of the client information, uh, we spend a lot of time. This is not the only thing. With AI agents, you can do many more things. So here, my use case is not about how to do an audit with AI agent. It's all about how to process, uh, how to uh, make sure that our operational process is streamlined and how can it be made effective or our productive time is allocated to more important work through an AI agent. So with this brief introduction about my agent, let's see what my agent does. My agent is Vishnu's office AI agent. This is a simple telegram bot. Why telegram? It's just ease of convenience. Nothing more specific, uh, specific about telegram being the front end. I can have a normal chatbot also. Let's see how it works. Let me just message it hi. It is welcoming me and it's introducing the bot and it's saying it is Vishnu's a uh, firm, audit firm chatbot. I'm here to assist you with various certification report and letter needs. How may I help you today? Are you looking for a specific service or a document? Let me just say, yes, I am looking for a revenue certificate. Okay, it's saying, I'd be happy to help you with obtaining a revenue certificate. To process your request, I'll need some information from you. Could you please provide me your email address? So it's asking a client to provide client's email address. Let me just, for the time being, give some uh, email address. It need not be an actual email address. So I'll just mention botmaster at gmail.com. Thank you for providing your email address. Could you please tell me the legal name of your company or organization for which you need the revenue certificate? 
let me just mention my legal name as Botmaster and Botmaster Private Limited. Could you briefly describe the specific purpose or time period for this revenue certificate? I'll also mention revenue certificate for Startup India registration. And I need it by Monday. Thank you for providing the information. Could you please confirm the time period by which you need the revenue certificate? Is it for the last financial year or specific period for this financial year? I need it by Monday. Okay. Now it has understood what is my requirement and summarize the requirements. Email is botmaster at gmail.com. Company is botmaster private limited. Requirement is revenue certificate for startup India registration. Period is current financial year. Deadline is Monday. Your request is registered. We'll process it as soon as possible. This is what it tells to the client. Now, how is it communicating the same information to me? Let me just show you what had happened in the back end. I got an email from the chatbot. Uh, the email got triggered from this particular email ID, which I created specifically uh, for this interaction. Whenever a client uh, chatbot processes the information, it sends me an email through this particular email. So this has been sent just now. Now, dear Vishnu, I'm writing to inform you about a successful completion of a client interaction regarding revenue certificate request. Here is a summary of the final details. It has summarized what the client has asked. The client has provided all the necessary information and their request has been registered. They have been informed that they'll process it as soon as possible. Given Monday is the deadline, this request may require prompt attention. Please advise if you need any additional information. All these things, it has generated an email and sent it to me. Along with this email, it has also generated a document as an attachment. Let's see what is there in the document. It has, in simple, generated a revenue certificate. Uh, it has mentioned to whomsoever it may concern, revenue certificate, this is to certify. Now the format might not be proper as per the institute regulations, but you are there to revise the format. We can fine tune the format as we require. Now, how did it trigger all these from a just simple client interaction? How did I get an email like uh, this, where it has summarized the client interaction? Also, it has sent an attachment. This all happened through a back-end workflow automation that I did through N8N workflow automation tool. Now, this is a workflow automation tool which I use to execute this particular task. What is it doing? Let me just explain you about what this particular workflow automation is doing. Now, here, there are three AI agents working all together in trying to explain what my clients need and helping me in preparing the documents that might be required for my client. So the trigger happens with the Telegram message and it is processed by the AI agent, responded by the Telegram messenger, and there is a switch. Why did I keep a switch? Because I needed specific information to be passed on to the next agent. Until that information is obtained, the AI agent should not stop the conversation. So it gets the particular information and it goes to the email content generator. So this node, generates the email content based on the summary of the client interaction. And I have used uh, Claude's API for generating the email content. Then there is second uh, AI agent, which is generating the documentary requirement. And it is, uh, I had given a specific prompt to go by the Institute's regulations in creating the documents as required by the client. Many a times it generates a document as per the Institute standard format, but sometimes it may also do an error because we all know it is all generative AIs. It works based on how the prompts are given, how the interaction goes. So based on the, uh, the prompt, it fine tunes the document. Finally, the document is processed. The document is added to this email node and this email node combines both email content and document content and sends both document and email to the email of the owner, that is my uh, audit bot. So it should send an email to me. 
for me to review and send it to the client. And if you need, the communication should be copied to client also. You can also keep client name in CC. This is just to show you that though this email need not be communicated to the client because this is a content that has to be reviewed by a chartered accountant before it is shared to the client. But it can also be kept, uh, uh, the client can it's also be copied. Last one minute. This. Okay. Uh, this uh, uh, email content. So this is all about what my bot is doing. And obviously when I create a bot for my audit firm, I don't want it to do something else, correct? I don't want it to give a conclusion for my CFM. Let me just ask a simple question. Explain me on 17 pi of EST. So it is saying, I apologize, but as an assistant for Vishnu's audit firm, I'm not authorized to provide the information regarding GST regulation. So the main intention here is that I have built an AI agent just to collect the information and not give the information to the client. So this is how I have automated the client interaction process and document generation process, which can be done by the first level staff. And a final output is given to me as an auditor for reviewing it and finalizing it and sending it to the client. This is my simple use case. And for the purpose of use case only, I have been, uh, I have used this Telegram. There is no compulsion that you should also use Telegram. You can use any other feature that is available in this particular N8 and workflow automation. Thank you for the opportunity. All right. Any questions? Thank you very much, uh, Vishnuji. Just uh, one question which I have to ask you in this regards. First of all, uh, it was an interesting use case um, because creating particular documentation, sending mails, or basically the communication related portion, a lot of CA firms in practice are uh, looking for such, such kind of automation. So this brings me to the question that, um, so there are a lot of chartered accountants who may not have that kind of a technical background in terms of coding or robot process automation. So how much, uh, how long did it take you to create this particular workflow? And essentially the hackathon, the purpose of this entire uh, event is just to, um, basically promote that AI is not something which is some kind of a rocket science or something which is to be um, used only by coders or programmers. So yes, uh, what's your take on this? Yeah, so again, I'm not a person with a coding background. From planning to execution, everything is assisted by AI. So for planning itself, from the planning stage itself, I told this is my use case, how do I do, do this? Then Claude gave me a planning, then the generating AI, then the execution stage I did it through N810 and here also it has a built-in AI assistant which helps me in every stage whenever I get a query in this and whenever I get an error in this there is a specialized AI agent of N810 where I paste the query and it, it gives me a suggestion. Let us take this node where it appears as a code but the way I created this code is again asking the AI agent. So I have not written even a single line of code in this whole use case it is all AI generated code. Right. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, this was an amazing use case.